The guess and check problem solving strategy is a great problem solving strategy to use if there are multiple combinations that could give you the right answer, but there's only one answer that we're looking for that will give you the right answer. And so oftentimes we can combine the guess and check strategy with the make a list strategy because we can make a list of all the possible options that we've tried. So it's more just to help keep our, our work organized than to actually look at everything and add it up to give us our total. So in this column it says that Jamie spent $40 for an outfit. She paid for the items using $10, $5, and a $1 bill. And she gave the clerk 10 bills in all. So how many of each bill did she use? So obviously there's multiple combinations of a five, a ten, and a one dollar bill that we can put together, but only one of those combinations will give us an exact total of forty dollars and an exact total of ten bills. So we're going to have to do some guessing and checking so we come up with the, the right answer. Now, when you use the guess and check strategy, it shouldn't be just random guesses out of the middle of nowhere. You want your guesses to actually make sense as to why you picked that. So before I start any guessing and checking, I'm just going to set up a table to help me keep all of my work organized and so I can see what it is that we've tried. So I'm going to have a $10 column, a $5 column, a $1 column, and then I'm going to put a total column so I can check what everything adds up to. So now as I'm thinking about this problem, I know that it has to add up to $40. And I know that if I have a lot of ones, probably going to get us over 10 bills. And if I have a lot of 10s, that's going to put us over $40. We can't have a lot of $10 bills, can't have a lot of 5s. It's going to have to be kind of evenly distributed just by based on the information that we know. So I'm going to start out just with one $10 bill. And then in front, I'm going to write 10. That's how much money I have spent so far. And then I think I'm going to stick with um, two $5 bills. That'll also give me $10. And so now I need to get up to $40. So here I've got $10, here I've got $10. So that means I need 20 more dollars, which means I would need 20 more bills. So let's see what my total is right now. I've used 23 bills, but I do have $40. So I can see that I have way too many bills. I have the right amount for too many bills. That means we need less $1 and more of the ones, the tens and the $5. So this time, let's try two $10 bills. Again, that'll be $20. And I'm going to try one $5 bill this time, which would be $5. So now I have $20, $25. And so to get up to $40, I would need $15 in one, which means I would need 15 one. So now I've spent $40, and I have a total of 2, 3, 18 bills. So I can see that I'm getting closer. I'm going in the right direction. And you can see how that my list here is just helping me keep all of my work organized. So now I can start to make more logical guesses based on the information that I've found out so far. So I know I need to go down left, but not a whole lot. So let's try adding a $5 bill on the $10. So I'm going to keep my two $10 bills at $20. And I'm going to increase this to two $5 bills. That'll put us at $10. So I now I have $30. And so here I would need 10 more bills. And so that would give me $10 and 10 $1 bills. So now altogether I have $40 still. And I've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 bills that we've used. Uh, so now we're getting really, really close. So I'm thinking that if I add on one $10 bill, that's going to put us too low because that's going to take 10 away from here. So let's try to add one more $5 bill. So two tens again at $20. Three $5 bills, which will put us at $15. And so now I'm at $35, so I would need five bills over here. And that would be $5. So now I have $20, $35, And I use two, five, ten bills. And that's what we were looking for. We needed to spend $40. 
using 10 bills. And that's what we did. So our final answer would be that we used two $10 bills, three $5 bills, and five $1 bills. So as you can see, the guess and check strategy works really well when there are multiple combinations that are possible, but only one will give us the right answer. And then we can combine that a little bit with the make a list strategy in that we can use a list to just keep our information all organized. Not part of our answers, but it definitely helps us keep all of our work 